2227 Carrizo Way. This is a house with a little casita out front. Panning north the street. All have nice landscapings. Let's go in and enter the property. Artificial turf, zero scape. It's a nice tree. Some roses. Very large pineapple palm in front. We have artificial all the way to the sidewalk. Boundary lines and the property is fenced completely in the back. This is the casita up front. Two car garage, tile roof. This is the uh, Pulte Cocoon Cellulose design. Little gate to the courtyard with a latch. Cool deck throughout. Very well groomed. Cultured rock on the archway coming in. Fancy storm door, both on the casita. Here's what the courtyard looks like. Pan around to the casita with a sort of a pricey storm door. Entering the casita, it has a glass uh, door with plantation shutters. Plantation shutters. We have a nice, very well kept carpet here. The padding is uh, nice and thick padding. Full bath in the casita. With a ceiling fan. Cutting through the courtyard. Into the main body of the house. We have planters on drip systems. Some little Malibu lighting. You have some 110 for your Christmas lighting. Tile on the diagonal throughout. Off to the right you have a very nice kitchen with granite. Solar tubes. There's two of them in the house. Nice backsplash all the way to the top. Sort of the breakfast nook, dining room with a pantry. It's like a Samsung. The older dishwasher, GE, it's okay. Let's go into the living room. Plantation shutters. The uh, main window doesn't have plantation shutters, but it's all high performing glass. And then on the floor, one thing that's nice is just crown molding. I'll throw out the first part. And they have sort of a tile mosaic face there in front of the granite. Let's go to the uh, master, located in the back of the property. You have tile, tile that comes up to the threshold of the bedroom. Once again, it looks like you have some nice plantation shutters. A two-tone paint, looks like a gray with a white. Maybe two-inch baseboards. Plantation shutter, they have the uh, low voltage and a signal up there for your TV. 
It could be a memory foam that I'm walking on too. The double basin with cabinets. Nice length of a mirror. Most of the uh, masters in this side of a house will only have a three quarter bath. A nice walk in closet. So, this is the efficient environment for living home with jumper ducts. Even the master, a linen closet here. Back into the main body of the house. Going to the bedroom number two. Plantation and carpets nice with a fan. We have a standard closet. A full bath with the toilet lit up. And this is the laundry room off to the right that goes into the uh, walkway to the garage. And there's some cabinets here. Garage looks like a little 20 by 20 square foot. E coat on the flooring. Cabinets look okay. Water softener in place, we'll have to make sure that stays. So it's time for the backyard. Coming through the breezeway. Going to exit the rear. On the wall they have the electronics for a TV. You can put a TV there in your low voltage. And you could have the formal dining also. It has the nice hardware, low E windows. Nice depth on the lot. Astro turf with a cool deck. There's a entrance to the master and fans. Some very nice shade trees far enough away from the house, far enough away from the gates. Shrubs look like they're in control and relatively groomed well. This is a sweep of the back of the house. Once again, plantations and low E windows. Looks nice. Ground mount air conditioners, tile roofs, and low E windows. Three great features.